Hello everyone, it's Andrea and welcome to today's video. It's actually the first video of 2019. Happy New Year. I hope that your January is off to a wonderful start. Mine definitely is. I actually just got back from a lovely, lovely vacation. I was in Tulum for almost two weeks and it was just, it was the perfect way to kind of start the new year and um, just enjoy some nice R&R &R with my husband. It was a lovely time and I wanted to share with you the contents of my travel makeup bag. I tend to overpack when it comes to travel makeup. I always feel like, oh, it's, I'm going to be on vacation. I'm going to feel relaxed. I'm going to feel so inspired. I can bring, I can do this look. I can do this look. I can do this look. And in reality, I end up spending like 80% of the time without wearing any makeup whatsoever. You'd think by now I would learn that it's not worth me carrying all this weight with me, but I never learn and I always overpack. Tulum is such a lovely town and if you've ever been there, you'll know that it has quite quite an active nightlife. It's not really an area where it, there, there are no resorts, like there's no all-inclusive resorts in that area. It's just, it's more of like a small town vibe where, you know, you can stay at one of the smaller boutique hotels by the beach or you can rent an Airbnb or stay at an at a hotel more closer to the actual town, which is what we did. And then every night there are so many beautiful restaurants and, and bars and so many really lovely places to check out. Like you don't really stay at your hotel or you don't really stay at your apartment the entire time. There's so much stuff to do. So we did go out quite a bit at night. There were so many delicious, so many delicious meals that we had and I am working on a blog post of my favorite spots and my favorite things that we did. So uh, yeah, we did go out at night and at night I did wear makeup. So this is kind of like my go-to evening vacation makeup look and a little peek at my makeup bag. During the day I did not wear a lot of makeup. I just would just put on sunscreen and my skincare. If I wanted a little bit of coverage or if I wanted to knock back some shine, I did pack this. This is the Pure Minerals 4-in-1 pressed mineral makeup. This does have SPF 15 in it, which is not a lot, but it's nice to have a little powder SPF touch up throughout the day. And I use the shade Golden Medium. It didn't really look cakey or didn't make me look really oily throughout the day, even in the hot, hot, humid heat. So this was what I wore if I had any base makeup throughout the day. And then for the evening, my go-to foundation is the Dior Face and Body Foundation. I love this so much. I use the shade 2WO, which, uh, matches my slightly sun-kissed skin. Actually, let me get my hair out of the way. I'm feeling really unorganized right now, but oh, look at, look at my little antennas now. So yeah, this is what I would wear at night. This is such a wonderful foundation. I have talked about my love for this numerous times. Um, if you have oily combination skin, this is great. It has like light to medium coverage. It's super, super natural on the skin and it lasts really, really well. Like in the summer when I wore this just around town, I wouldn't even need to powder it. And I honestly felt like it wore beautifully on my skin. So this is one of my favorite foundations for summertime slash hot environments. And whenever I'm traveling, especially if I'm you know, vacationing in a more tropical destination, less is more. Like I don't wear a lot of makeup. I always pack like super light coverage things. I like just sheer texture. And even though I do have some imperfections, um, I don't know, I just feel like with the humidity in the air, my skin always ends up looking more plump and glowy anyway. And I want to kind of show that off as much as possible. I kind of rediscovered my love for this brush while I was away. This is the Real Techniques. Expert face brush. It's such a great buffing brush for foundation. For concealer, I brought my favorites. If you saw my Best of Beauty 2018 video, this will be no surprise. My Sicily Corrector. This is a great product for kind of canceling out that under eye darkness. It blends out really, really well and it can be worn by itself too. Has a nice little cooling applicator. So if you're puffy in the morning, this kind of can help drain some of that puffiness out. And then if I want a bit of extra coverage under the eyes, the L'Oreal True Match Concealer is my jam. I really, really love this concealer. It just blends so, so well, and it actually covers some of my broken capillaries as well. 
So for lazy days, this, this is great because this works well under my eyes as well as on any areas where I need a bit of extra coverage on my face. Now I did pack one other concealer. I also packed my NARS concealer because um, I have very acne prone skin. You never know when uh, the zit will strike. So and this is a great concealer to travel with. It's compact and it's great for like post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or for blemishes. I love it. So yeah, three concealers uh, might be a bit overkill, but not a makeup packing minimalist by any means. So that's about it for complexion. The only setting powder that I brought with me is the By Terry Hyronic Hydro Powder. This is such a great powder for oil control. It's super, super, super finely milled. It's really messy. I really dislike the packaging. I had a really, really oily skin day and I wanted to kind of really knock back that shine in my T-zone. I would just use my damp Real Techniques sponge, just like the flat end of it and put it, you know, dab it in a little bit of powder and then just use it on the areas where I did not want to shine so hard. Like my forehead can get pretty oily and it can be like a big glare. <laughs> So I would just take this to knock back the shine in the areas where I didn't want any shine, but I like to keep the glow in my cheeks. So I would just kind of focus the powder on my T-zone. And then I like to take a little bit of that powder on a brush to set the under eye area a little bit too. For cheek products, I did pack um, quite a bit of cream products. And for blush, I this is actually a liquid blush, not exactly a cream, but this is such a beautiful blush. It is very, very subtle. It's very glowy. It's the Armani A blush. This came out in their near nude collection, but I'm pretty sure it's permanent. And this is the color number 51. It's such a pretty kind of like translucent, subtle rose on the cheeks. And I like to take it, I don't like to apply this straight on my cheeks. I like to take it on my hand first. And then I dip in with a little synthetic brush. This is by Crown Brushes. It does not have a number on it, but you get the idea. And I just stipple it on the cheeks with this brush. It's very, very subtle. It's almost like a watercolor. It's not as intense as um, a Glossier Cloud Paint. It's a bit more diluted and it has just a really nice subtle glow to it. It is such a beautiful product. It's the ultimate like no makeup makeup blush if you are afraid of liquid blush cream blush so you want to kind of just dip your toes into something really subtle with a nice glow from within i highly recommend these blushes they're so beautiful the packaging is so stunning too and i think they have this they have like a contour and a highlighter version of this too i swatched them and i wasn't that impressed with those but this cheek color is just so stunning and so easy to work with. I really love the subtle glow and like the, the transparency of it. Would highly recommend checking these out next time you're out and about shopping for makeup. I love that. So that is the blush that I packed with me. And in terms of bronzer, I brought this. This is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. And I feel like they have, they keep redoing the packaging of these. I love the smell. And this is just such a good matte bronzer. No frills. It, it's been one of my favorites for a long time. I'm trying to use up some of the, my products and kind of shop my stash. So if I get bored of a bronzer that I'm currently using, I always like to rotate it and rediscover an oldie. So that's what I did with this. And I really enjoy this. So this is the bronzer that I packed with me. Sometimes I would go a bit more heavy handed if I wanted more of an intense look. But I think today we're going to keep things more understated and subtle. Great, great bronzer, highly recommended. I think it works. Um, it works really well, and I like the fact that they do have different shades. So this is the lightest shade. They also have a medium shade and a deeper shade. And then for highlighter, I packed two highlighters, which is very unlike me. Like I used to not be into highlighters at all, but I've just I've kind of been I'm like kind of a changed woman now. I'm like all about the highlighters, especially cream highlighters, because um, I do have quite a bit of a texture on my cheeks, and I find that cream highlighters don't accentuate that texture in my skin. So I packed two highlighters with me, one that's a bit more subtle and one that's a bit more blam, like more glam. Blam, is that a word? No. So for my subtle highlighter option, this is the Caravice Cream Highlighter in the shade Ravishing. And it's just this really beautiful, subtle champagne color. Ravishing is a bit more warm. It has that champagne tint to it, whereas the Radiance color that I had before was more of a pearly highlight, which is more suitable for paler skin tones. So you can see a little bit 
this awful tan line from my Apple Watch. Um, let's ignore that. You can see the very, very subtle highlight of this shade. This is such a beautiful daytime highlight as well. I have been loving, loving, loving this. But for evening, if I would go out and want a bit more of an extra boom, this is a highlighter stick from YSL and it was uh, released in their holiday collection this year. It doesn't have great reviews on Sephora. I actually think it went on sale on the Sephora website. It was like 30 bucks on the Canadian um, Sephora website, which is Quite a bargain when it comes to YSL. It does have a bit of glitter in it, so maybe that's why people weren't into it. I mean, it's a holiday highlighter. You want a little bit of glam for the holidays. And I just think that on the cheeks, this looks really, really nice. I'm actually going to put this on. And again, I don't like to go straight from the stick. I like to put it on my fingers first and then gently pat it onto the skin. On me, when I look at it on my cheeks, it just looks like a beautiful gleam. I don't find the glitter in it unflattering at all. I actually wore this on New Year's Eve. I was really heavy handed with it and I thought it looked so beautiful. This didn't get greasy. It didn't slide all over my face. It stays put really well. So you can just see how it just adds that beautiful gleam. I did pack two products and to be honest, I could have probably gotten away just with the one. Marc Jacobs Fantasy and Eyeshadow Palette. I love this. I love the pink and coral shades in this. I mostly just used the matte shades on vacation, just like a couple of these mixed together in my crease. And this is the Burberry Color Cream Eyeshadow. It's the Eye Color Cream in the shade Gold Copper. It's such a beautiful cream shadow. So I'm just gonna take these two colors, blend them together, and apply them in my crease first. Nothing too precise. And then whatever's left on the brush actually would take it down as well. And then I take this glorious eyeshadow. I think this was in my Best of Beauty video from last year. And then this year, I convinced my friend Dina to get it too, but in a different color. And it was in her favorites when we did our Best of Beauty of 2018. Slight glow to the eyelid, but it's just a, such a beautiful color too, like a very muted, taupey, subtle gold. I love it so much which is why I brought it. I figured that I, you know, I could just throw this on with a red lip and I'd be good to go. When it comes to eyeliner, I brought two, but to be honest, I barely wore either of them. My One of my favorite eyeliners of all time is the Marc Jacobs Highliner in the color brown, what is this called? It's called Earthquake. It's a very, very matte, dark brown and this is just such a beautiful color. This does not budge in the heat and the humidity. This is the best eyeliner formula that I've ever tried and I have quite finicky eyes. So even if I'm just doing kind of like the bare minimum, I would just tight line with this. And this is just a Maybelline eyeliner. This is from the Gigi Hadid collection. It's in the shade Nude and it's just a great nude shade for using in the waterline underneath. I did pack a new brow product that I had ordered just the week, uh, the week before I went away and it's a MAC, um, what is this called? The Shape and Shade Brow Tint in the shade Spike. This is a brow pen that's almost like, it's almost like a liquid liner because it has a very, very fine felt tip at one end and then it has this little brow pomade at the other end. And it is a bit more time consuming than my usual like brow powder or the Anastasia Brow Wiz but the result is so much more natural because this actually looks like, you know, you're actually drawing hair strokes on your brows. And this pomade at the other end does have a bit of hold too. It's like a little waxy substance. And for a bit of extra hold, or if I can't be bothered and I just want a brow gel for during the day, I packed my ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. I use this in the shade light brown. And this just like kind of like provides a bit of extra hold and I like to brush my brow hairs up. The brow struggle just never ends, you know? For mascara, I always pack a little travel size mascara. This is where I hoard all the little samples that I can get from Sephora. And, uh, I have this Armani Eyes to Kill mascara sample and I actually do really enjoy this mascara. I bought it a couple of times um, in the past and you know I have to actually really like mascara, especially a high-end one, to actually want to repurchase it, but this is pretty good. In actuality, like the actual result that you get on your eyelashes is very similar to what you get with something like the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I only packed three lipsticks with me. Obviously I wore the nude shade the most, but I packed a red. I always pack an orangey red when I travel, especially when I'm traveling to like a tropical location, just because it's so much fun. You know, red lipstick, 
especially an orangey red lipstick in like the hot summer heat, it makes everything so much better. Uh, so NARS Red Square is my go-to orange red shade. I love this. Love the fact that I didn't need to pack a lip liner with it either. You can kind of just throw it on and go. And then I packed my Clarins lipstick in the shade Papaya. Actually, let me swatch. Let's do a little swatch party here. So we have the Clarins Papaya, which I actually liked wearing it just kind of like as a stain this trip. So we're just going to tap it in. Let me swatch NARS Red Square in case you haven't seen it before. But if you want a nice matte orangey red, this will be your jam. I don't know one person that has bought this and not liked it. So it's a classic. And then for nude option, this is a recent discovery and I bought it because my friend Nur on Instagram, if you guys don't follow her, I highly recommend you should. She is lovely. She used to do beauty videos on YouTube, but she doesn't do that so much anymore, but she has an Instagram and she just occasionally comes on there and drops, drops some knowledge and life advice. I really love her. She's such a wonderful woman and I really admire her. She spoke really highly of these and I had never heard of them before, never saw anybody else talk about them, but they are the Sephora um, Melting Lip Clicks. And it's like a dupe for the Marc Jacobs. You know Marc Jacobs came out with those like glossy lipstick things? This is supposed to be a very close dupe to that. So I bought shade 01 Caramel. This is such a beautiful, glossy, very, very glossy, hydrating lip formula, and the price point is great. Kind of reminds me of the YSL Rouge Volupte Shines. And shade 01 Caramel is like the perfect, glossy, my lips but better color. I'm actually just gonna throw that on top. And I posted a couple selfies while I was wearing this. And it got so many DMs of people wanting to know what I was wearing on my lips. And this is it. it gives just a bit of color. It's like a mauve -y, beige -y nude. Once you click it up, it doesn't go back down though. So make sure that when you're using it, only click up the amount that you need. And I can't believe how much better this looks when you're in a tropical location. Like doing this now at home, now that I'm back in the cold and the gray, it doesn't look as nice as it did in like the warm golden sun. That was uh, kind of like my go-to makeup routine while I was on vacation and all the makeup that I packed with me when I was away. Let me know what makeup you love to travel with and if you have any travel plans for 2019, let me know down below. We'll keep in touch in the comment section below and uh, have a great one. Bye.